All this and gents, welcome to CG Reaction, and this is Unnerved Family Guy Scenes, Deleted Scenes Compiler Son 1. So, yeah, Unnerved Family Guy. How effed up these scenes must be that Family Guy decided that, you know what, this is a bit too much to air. So, this is gonna be awesome to see. I've not seen this clearly since it's Deleted Scenes. So, yeah. And people remember, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, check out the end cards for, you know, more reaction I did. Or check out the description. There is a playlist with all of my videos that I reacted to. And, yeah. Let's watch this video. Oh, man, this toothpick is the best. I'm not going anywhere without it. Like Batman and his futility belt. I can't get these locks open. Futility belt, okay. I see what's coming. Oh, yeah, maybe. Let's see. I have some hockey trading cards, a post-it with some hair stuck to the edge, something that might be a roll-aid, oh, I don't no. know, it's just loose. Hurry, it's getting closer! I have some stamps. Oh, you know what? It's a cert. Peter, what are we doing on the water? <laughs> yeah, that's the best thing about this is, you know, what if Peter mistakes something, the reality and, you know, at, at least in his mind, the reality changes. So instead of utility belt, he says futility belt. So that's how the scene played out. So it's implied that the, all this scene is happening in your in his head. This is how he sees things because he mistook some word. Front. Well, now that I'm a toothpick guy, I like to hang out on the docks and look for boxes to train. Hey, kid, you think you got what it takes? For what? I don't know. Probably not. I hang out at the docks. Oh yeah, he's got the fire in his belly. Okay, now remember everything I told you. You didn't tell me anything. We just met 20 minutes ago. Hey, hey! You and he's me and this toothpick have come too up. far to turn back now. Uh oh. That's because that's the issue. <laughs> hey kid. You think you got what it takes? A cigar turning like that, that, that was the point, that was the sign that he was gonna get fucked up. Not that he wasn't a boxer, that cigar thing was the point. <laughs> Sir, please! This man has minutes to live! Oh yeah, he's got the fire in his belly. No way! Our friendship is over, forever! Quagmire is dead to me, like an Irish secret agent. It is done then. Let us drink on it. That was smooth. Any last words, Agent Double O'Reilly? Can I get one more? <laughs> <laughs> yes, because he's Irish. Oh my god, this is... Seth MacFarlane is such an a-hole. Seriously, man. He always, you know, creates a scenario and always takes a jibe at people. <laughs> First of all, no, no poison box that fast, man. But still. <laughs> wow, that was awkward. Like a stranger trying to make conversation. Long line, huh? There's two of us. Reminds me of that Steinfeld episode, No Sauce For You, <laughs> right? You missed both of them. I can't believe that show's still on. It's not. I really like that Julia Richard <laughs> Dreyfus, though. Ugh. Mr. Sanders, thank you for waiting. Here's the medicine for your brain injury. Oh, now I feel bad. Hello? Dad, Grandpa burned us with a curling iron, so we're at Farrell's Ice Cream. Would you come get us? I can't understand you. Stop calling me. Stupid foreigners. Oh, Dad, he had a good news. Bud's not leaving. I told him he can move in with me and Bonnie. What? Peter, this is crazy. Oh, wait, you're right. I did it wrong. All right, Lois. When Peter decided he was going next door to live with Joe's dad, his wife was blank. Furious! Lois said furious. Let's see what the panel says. Robert Reed, what do you have? AIDS. Brett Summers? Cancer. Charles Nelson Riley? Cancer. Probably from AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Charles, you old Poppinjay. Our mattress still has the chalk outline from where- By the way, this is just jokes, but in the family guy thing, it's implied that, you know, Peter goes over the top and puts so much effort into creating this thing. So it's implied that he literally, you know, called those people and created that stage and did all those things. Because sometimes in the jokes, Lewis did comment, like, you did all of this effort for this one joke. You bought a helicopter for what, this one thing. It's implied that, you know, Peter puts extreme efforts to make these jokes. <laughs> Where my Uncle Leonard got killed by his third wife. She poured boiling grits on his privates and then shot him. You sleep on that? Well, I flipped it over. We'll never outrun Hookhand! We don't have to outrun Hookhand, we just have to outrun Joe! 
Oh, <laughs> the second. The Why does he always hold the keys? Because <laughs> just throw the jaw to the you know psycho and we can run away. <laughs> he knows we always leave him behind. Oh. <laughs> I have a double foam latte for Professor Griffin. Oh, uh, that's me. You're gross. Oh, my God. Don't be so hard on yourself, Peter. Your life's not Cheat. over yet. Come on, it's not like I can go back to school at my age. I'll never be a doctor. The best I could hope for is a male nurse who's probably killing all his patients. Well, I'm going home. Griffin, you have another eight hours on your shift. Now, what about your patients? They all died with dignity, God bless them. But first, sad news from the Quahog Zoo as a baby panda on loan from China is undergoing emergency treatment for what appears to be tater tot poisoning. The Chinese ambassador was quoted as saying, Ooh, tiger mom, egg foo young, practice your piano math. I don't know, probably not that. <laughs> Racist. You're watching Anchorman. Vanity Fair magazine, the television show. The show where we read Vanity Fair magazine to you. Garbage. 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 How much is going on? <laughs> Garbage. Table of contents. Oh, God. Poor Dad. I know, she's humiliating him. Yeah, and everyone's just standing around doing nothing. Like the whole world during the Holocaust. Too true. Never again. Yeah, it is true. Okay, now we've earned this gag about an anti-Semitic pit. Yeah, it was true, isn't it? I mean, at the start, people were caught off guard. But afterwards, you know, those concentration camps were there for too long. Before anybody did anything. Ugh, my allergies. And everything else. Just terrible. Choo, choo. All right, let's go. What should we leave for a tip? The food and service were both great. Give them the full 3%. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Choo, cheap, choo. This is why I hate going outside. <laughs> that was hilarious. And again, the global community's inaction during the Holocaust was unforgivable. All right, calm down. Because we all know Family Guy doesn't make a joke unless, you know, he Family Guy balances like that. Talking about Holocaust and then he can make a joke about, uh, you know, Jews, of course. Come pee pee. Don't get your nipples in a twist. What the hell does that even mean? Ah! <laughs> oh my God. Are you wearing a bra right now? That's my business. Peter, sit down. You're making a scene. All right, Peter, your sister's the real deal, so if you're gonna take her on, we're gonna have to teach you how to wrestle. So come on, come at me, come on. What are you waiting for? No, Joe, no, I'm, I'm not doing this. What are you, chicken? Come on, I'm right here. Bring it, Chubbs. Joe, I, I, I really don't feel comfortable. I'm right here, sissy boy. Come on. <sighs> come on, you still gotta pin me. Joe, you're laying on your back on the mat. I've seen that coming. One, two, three. What are you doing? A pin's not to three, it's to 25. What? No, it's to three. It's to 25. <sighs> Four, five. From one. One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> Let's get out of this. Oh, that is this so sad, man. This needs quagmire. Just like an Asian man needs facial hair to be taken seriously. I'm sorry, we're out of orange chicken. I don't believe you. He's right. We ran out two hours ago. You, I believe. It's going to be so refreshing to do something different and creative. Really? What about being a pilot? Eh, it's just not a challenge anymore. These days, the autopilot does everything. Can I get you anything, Captain? You can get me some of this, toots. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just sit here and read a fucking magazine. <laughs> autopilot what? even does a resident. <laughs> baby? <laughs> My god, that's a worse idea than letting Bono pick out his own glasses. No, no, no. I need something way more ridiculous. Something that a cartoon villain would wear. Well, I do have some horn rims. Look, you're not hearing me. I need my glasses to look like something either not yet invented or from an ancient Egyptian tomb. And if possible, they should look as though they cost a million dollars, but also came free in a box of cereal. 
Perhaps I can be of help, Mr. Bono. You have somewhat of a square face, so to offset that, I recommend these frames, made for an intergalactic homosexual. Intergalactic homosexual. <laughs> okay, this mince pie is about ready to go. Just need a pinch of cinnamon. And while we're at it, how about we take this cinnamon challenge? Okay, Peter, we've all seen the internet videos. You take a spoonful of cinnamon and try not to cough it up. I don't know. The cinnamon challenge is where you try to sleep with a stripper named Cinnamon and then try not to get jumped and robbed by her accomplices. I lost the cinnamon challenge. <laughs> of course I would. We've been buddies for a long time. Like John Favreau and Vince Vaughn. All right. That's all the steak in the country. See? We could still do stuff. Ah, like Christopher Columbus. Guys, <laughs> I know this has been a long voyage. Half of us have died of starvation. We all saw Billy rot out from the stomach. We saw Roger's face get eaten by a seagull. And who could forget when Dave's bum sealed shut until he filled with poo and died. But it's all going to be worth it. Trust me. Because the spices here are amazing. Columbus was an a-hole. Uh, I remember a story about him just, you know, telling some tribes they, you know, give us your, you know, uh, food. And th these tribes just made food what they needed. They didn't have any reserves. So they just give us your food. Otherwise, I'm going to make sure that, you know, God takes away your son because he knew the eclipse was coming. So I duped them like that. And after that, nobody knows what happened to the tribe. Did the star or something? Who knows? Yeah, the family guy is awesome. And I love how, you know, Peter's scenarios is in his head. So if he, if he, uh, if he mistakes something or mispronounces something, he sees the whole scenario differently. That's what those cutscenes are. That's awesome. <laughs> Alright, people, if you like my reaction, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.